all right guys welcome back to another video um today i am going to be doing a one product twist out Um, I've been seeing some of these videos go around on YouTube and I have not used Blue Magic. Oh my God, definitely relaxed days, definitely. Um, and I wasn't like I wasn't even properly moisturizing my hair. I was just throwing grease on it and be like, oh, it's moisturized. So we are going to see um, if this is really what the hype is about. Um, I'm starting off on stretched hair. Um, I didn't do a video on it because it's kind of like self-explanatory but um if you guys want to see a video then just comment down below so i'm going to section my hair off this is going to be like a chunky twist out y'all i'm not doing a super small twist um i only really do small twists when i would do like mini twists um that's when I get like the best definition so um I am a finger detangle gal I really don't use combs on my hair so um my hair probably is not like I blow I blew it out on medium to low heat um so it's not all the way stretched it's probably not all the way detangled but that's all right so I mean, it smell like blue magic. Like, I remember the smell. It just smell like grease, honestly. Um, <laughs> nothing too spectacular. Um, so I'm just going to section my hair off. Into, I guess this is a decent size. I could go a little bit bigger, but I guess this will be good. So I'm not going to start off with too much. And make sure it's coated. And I just, for me, like, finger detangling is very easy because every part of my process, I finger detangle. So every single time I'm touching my hair, I'm taking my thumb and going down and making sure that I'm getting out of knots and tangles and things. So then I'm just going to... sure that I have two pieces I'll take a little bit more and begin to twist so when I twist okay now now to twist I take the hair and turn it inside as I twist down I don't know if you guys can see that um, because that's gonna give you what's like a rope twist and it gives you the most definition um, and it keeps it, it just holds it better instead of it being like a puffy twist. And you guys will see what I mean when I'm finished. Um, but yeah, nothing fancy, nothing, you know, super, super complicated. Um, I have not done a chunky twist out in a very long time, so we're gonna see. Then we get to them ends and we just twirl the ends. All right, twist one, down. See, that's a lot of hair. So, um, I don't know. It's like I kind of want to make these larger than what they kind of out to be. But we'll see. I have a feeling that if I do them too big, I look great. Y'all know, guys. I don't know. This side that I'm on is like my thinner side, like it's not as full as the other side. So I always have to like play with it so that when I take them down, I get the same amount of volume. I think everybody got that like where one side is just thicker or shorter or what, I don't know. I think it's this side is shorter, like a little bit. And I think that's why 
but it is thinner though definitely like i got more density at the top of my head on the other side and i don't know why i do the same damn thing but could just be genetics all right so i am all done so um, this is the bag I know I got a middle part, but I'm gonna just fluff that out tomorrow. I ain't really worried about it. And, um, yeah, they all shiny. Um, but I guess so, because you got a bunch of grease in my damn head. <laughs> Y'all, I'm tired. So I will um, tie this up and I will be back tomorrow to do the takedown. Okay, so I have them all taken down, and this is what we looking like, y'all. Um, I'm impressed. I mean, it's it did its thing, you know. Um, uh, I got some shine, and there is some definition. I can't tell you how long it's gonna stay, but there's definition. Um, mm, now I was like, I'm debating on if I want to puff it out some because it's a little too tame i need a little bit more volume so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to frizz it out a little bit um hopefully i don't mess it up too bad but i'm gonna just take some of them some of the ones that's like really really defined and open them up like once Might leave my top alone though, so I can look like I got more definition than I got. But I'm impressed. I may have to go and do this style um, on the braid out with like my my curling cream, and then see if it'll like hold in moisture. Cause this was just for. It. Let's see if it'll give me definition. And I'm going to get some frizz because I'm frizzing it out. Yeah, much better. Okay. Um, at this point, you can go in and do your baby hairs, but I'm not. Um, I very rarely do my little edges, and when I do, it's like a, some type of slick back style, or my style is just extremely frizzy, and I'm trying to like pull it together, you know, make it look a little decent. Or I might do it like when I wear braid, like if I braid my hair. But yeah. I'm satisfied, y'all. I'm satisfied. So, um, yeah. I got hair all on it. But yeah, Blue Magic, I give it a thumbs up. Um, granted, yes, the ingredients list. I'm not taking a look at that. Um, this purpose was to see if it'll give you definition, which it will. And, um, I already know that it will be a good sealant. And a lot of the naturals that I follow do use grease. Um, just tell me guys, tell me what you think about it. And yeah, let me know down below if you wanna see me do anything else with the Blue Magic, um, a braid out or, you know, another style um, with like a moisturizer underneath. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Um, again, comment down below anything you guys want to see from me and head over to my Instagram at nappy trices if you want to keep up with me on a daily basis and um, namaste.